So good morning to all of you. Today I am going to start with part B of chapter 9 network concepts. Last class we had learned about the different types of networks like LAN, MAN and WAN. Today I am going to tell you about wireless technology, then type of network topologies and their advantages and disadvantages. Wireless networking where your signals will be transmitted from one device to another. So the receiving device will be the receiver and the sending device will be the sender. The devices can be any electronic device like whether it is a laptop, a mobile phone, anything it can be. So the first wireless networking technology is, first let me read it, what is wireless networking technology? Wireless or unguided media, you know wireless technology is also known as guided and wired technology is known as guided. Why wireless is known as unguided? Because here you don't have a specific path for signals to travel. Like you are not connected uh, the devices with the help of cabling and all. So when you connect the devices using cables, the signals have a proper path. Wherever the cables are, that path only will be followed by the signals or the data. But in wireless technology, the signal is not having a specific path. It is not having a physical medium like cable or wire through which the data can be transmitted. So that's why wireless networking technology is also known as unguided media. Depending upon the distance and speed, different technologies are used like Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi. One more is there like infrared which is the shortest wireless technology which was used earlier. There we had to keep the devices in front of each other and the distance between the devices was too less otherwise the data was not getting transmitted. After that we got the Bluetooth which you all are aware of. You connect your devices through Bluetooth technology and you transmit the data from one computer or one device to another. So it is a short range wireless technology to connect connect the devices you can see the icon whenever you have enabled the bluetooth uh, uh, means function of any of the device this type of icon will be disabled this will be shown on the screen so uh, it is it uses low powered frequency and tra can transmit data over short distance and that short distance is about of 10 meters or you can say it of 30 feet and here the uh, speed is 1 mbps mbps means megabits per second next is your uh, uh, wi-fi wi or wireless fidelity uh, Bluetooth technology is used primarily to support simple wireless networking of personal computing device. Like if you have a personal setup of your devices like your printer is there, a scanner is there, the PDAs are there, mobile phones are there. So all this you can now you must have seen the headsets are also there. Bluetooth enabled headsets are there which you connect to your device. But when you go to a distance more than 10 meters the range will not be covered and you will get disconnected. So Bluetooth is basically a short distance distance uh, technology next is wireless fidelity this here the range is more than your bluetooth so wi-fi also you must have seen if you have a wi-fi connection at home there also particular range is there about 150 to 500 feet and if you go beyond that range the signals will become weaker nowadays there are devices in market through which you can amplify the signals you can increase the signal strength so that the range can be increased so let's read it wi-fi is a short range but high speed data transfer techno wireless technology. It also provides wireless broadband internet access to Wi-Fi enabled devices like smartphones and laptops. Wi-Fi is also used to set up a wireless LAN where uh, the acronym for wireless LAN will be WLAN. So the typical range of a Wi-Fi network is up to 150 to 500 feet. So you must uh, have seen the Wi-Fi connections at free Wi-Fi connection at different hotels, restaurants, then your uh, airports, then railway stations, everywhere you will get hotspots. You can get connected to those hotspots and you can enjoy your internet services. Okay. Next is your network topology. Before starting this, let me tell you what is topology. Topology, as I told you, set up a network, whether it is LAN, WAN or MAN, how you are going to arrange the computer, how you are going to use the cables, how wireless technology are going to use. So basically, topology 
is the arrangement of computers, cables, any other electronic device and other peripherals. Peripherals means IO devices, any type of IO device which are using. How you are going to place it, in what arrangement you are going to provide them. So that is basically topology. Physically how you are placing the devices near to each other, where they are connected to each other or some other device in between you are using. So that physical arrangement of your computers, cables and other peripherals is known as topology and the computers which are connected there are known as nodes you all have read this in the previous part also i told this it includes individual computers known as nodes and connecting lines these connecting lines will be your cables there are different types of topologies Physical topology should not be confused with logical topology, which is a method used to pass information between workstations. See, why physical topology? How you are going to keep the computers in a network? That is physical topology. But how your data is going to be transmitted from one computer, from one device to another? So, that is known as your log logical topology. Okay, so don't get con Workstations are computers part of a network. Another name for nodes. Okay, a topology is used to connect computers for communication. In network terminology, the workstation or node refers to the computer system which is connected in a network. In the previous part also we did it. The computer part of a network is known as a node, workstation or host. But if a computer is a uh, computer which is not part of a network, it will be known as a standalone computer. So, there are different types of topologies. We have bus topology, ring topology, star topology, mesh topology and tree topology. All these type of topologies have a different physical arrangement of their devices, computers, cables and all. So, let's start with bus topology. Can you see this figure? Here in between a bus is there. This is the device or you can say the communication channel and to this all the computers will be connected and this channel is known as the bus. So, this is a common channel or communication medium, common communication medium through which all the devices will be connected. That is why this is known as bus topology. The, here the setting of the means uh, this type of topology is very easy. Whenever you want to install a new computer, simply uh, you just uh, connect this to the bus and it will become the part of the network. Any computer, suppose this computer has to send any message to this computer or this printer or this computer. So, it will pass the message to this communication medium and from here only this computer will pick that this message is meant for this computer, it will take from there. So, this type of topology is known as bus topology. In the bus network topology, every computer is connected to a main cable called the bus. Okay, this is the cable which is known as the bus. This cable acts as a common communication medium between the computers. Now, what are the advantages? It enables an easy connection between the computers as I told. It requires less cable length. How much cable is required? Only cable is required for connecting to the bus, not to other computers. We have to connect to the bus. Once the computer is part of the bus, it has become the part of the network. Now, what is the disadvantage? If in between the main cable, if the bus is only damaged, the whole network will be uh, will come to a halt. It will not work. It will shut down because all the computers are connected to the bus. Then it is difficult to identify the problem if the entire network shuts down. If any problem is there, you will not be able to identify in which particular computer you are facing the problem because every computer is directly connected to the bus, not individually connected to each other. These are the disadvantages. Next, we have star topology. You can see the shape here. What type of shape? A star uh, shape uh, network. That is why the name is given as star topology. In the star network topology, there is a hub. You can see this hub in the center, hub or switch where all the computers will be connected. So, any message which the computer has to pass, suppose this is computer number 1 and this is computer number 5. If it is, uh, it has to send any message to computer 5, first the message will go to the hub or switch and from here this client will take the message. So, in bus topology, a bus was there through which all were connected and here a hub or switch box will be there which is connect, which is, to which all the computers will be connected. So, there is a hub or switch box to which all the workstations are directly connected. In this way, every workstation is indirectly connected to other through the hub. So, any message which will advantages. 
advantages very easy to understand this computers can be connected easily data transfer between the nodes will be faster because they don't have to travel a long bus simply it will come to this hub and it will identify for which particular computer the message is meant for and it will direct this message to that particular computer faults can be detected easily if in this computer the problem is hub that particular switch will be removed and it can be identified which particular computer was having the issue parts of a computer can be removed easily now what are the disadvantages more cable length is required if the hub is placed here and a computer has to be conducted that much cable is required another disadvantage if this hub or switch fails entire network will come to a halt or it will shut down next type of topology is ring topology why this name because here the computers will be placed in the form of a ring only that's why the name ring topology every computer every single computer will be connected to two neighboring computers so one wire to this computer one wire to this computer okay in the ring topology every device has exactly two neighbors for communication purposes all messages travel through a ring in the same direction so if the computer is following this direction for passing the message it will follow this method only suppose this workstation has to send a message to this so that message will travel to this workstation first then this and then finally it will reach there okay it it is not like that here the distance is less so i can transmit it directly there no either it will go clockwise or it will start anti clockwise so it depends how you are going to configure the this type of network so only in one direction the data will travel now what are the advantage data transfer is faster as the cable is connected between two computers disadvantage failure in a cable suppose here um, this cable is not working properly so here the connection between these computers from this will disconnected so it will break the loop and can slow down the entire network next is mesh topology why the name mesh because here a particular structure is not there every computer is connected to each and every other computer in the network like if you have eight computers so they will try to connect eight lines to this particular computer so that's why the name mesh topology in the mesh topology messages sent on a network can take any path from the source to the destination like if this computer is the source and it wants to send the message to this computer suppose so it will find out the shortest path suppose this path is shortest so it will send the message through this or if it wants to send from this so it can so any direction can be followed because every computer in this type of topology is connected with others advantages if any cable or node fails there are many other ways for the other nodes to communicate you remember in ring topology if one computer in between was not working then you had no other way to reach the other computer but here since you have many connections there are many ways to reach to a particular computer disadvantage expensive because more cabling is required okay next is tree topology tree topology you can say that it is a network of small small star networks connected to a bus network a common bus will be there to which small um, you can say the switch or hub of the star network of every star network in the tree structure will be connected to the bus so basically it is a network of bus network of star networks what are the advantages it is easy to detect a faulty device it is easy to expand a network because already you have a network star network you just have to connect it to the bus disadvantage if the common cable line breaks the entire segment goes down it is more difficult to configure as compared to other topologies really it's first two topologies are working together here so very difficult to configure or set up also next is client server network architecture this i had already explained two types of architectures are there peer to peer and client server in peer to peer here all these clients will be connected to each other but in a client server network one strong computer is there where every data will be stored everything and on these clients those datas won't be there if they want to read that data first they will give a request to server and server in return will return the message or information required by that particular client computer so this is your client server architecture 
So in this network architecture, there is a main computer known as server and other computers are called clients or workstations. A server controls the hardware, software and disk drives and provides other services to the clients. Client computer requests services, example data retrieval and storage, devices and processing power from the server. Client server architectures are sometimes also known as two tier architectures. So remember another name for client server network architecture is two tier architectures. So with this, this chapter get com uh, got completed and your syllabus also completed. Now I'm going to uh, post the PDF of the exercise also. Please do write it in your copies and show it to your subject teacher. Thank you and have a nice day.